Hello everyone and welcome back to 50 plus luxury style. It's been a hot minute since I come on here and I apologize for that. It has been a little, little crazy between family and work, but I'm very, very excited to be back on here with you guys. I have missed you so much. If you're new to my channel, Welcome, my name is Isabel, and I hope that if you enjoy this video, you'll go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell, and I promise I won't take as long to upload the next time. For those of you that are already subscribed, thank you very much. I appreciate all of the comments and messages that I have received, and I am very, very excited to be back. That being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to get started with an unboxing and it was something that was just totally unplanned and it's right back there. I had no business getting that. It was not on my mind, but I went to a, a lovely event at Ball Harbor, which I was invited by our adorable and very gorgeous Erica's girly world. Hi, Erica. How are you? And I took the opportunity after the event to go to the Louis Vuitton, which is in the Saks Fifth Avenue. And of course, I got into trouble while I was there. So let me show you what I got. We're gonna start with this, and this is a, a little teaser. I have an idea of what is in here, and it is just a little something that she has gifted me, and it is just full of little, samples of the Louis Vuitton perfumes that I have not tried and actually she's giving me just a lot of different ones there if you have been following me for some time you know that I am a Rose Devant addict and that is my favorite perfume from Louis Vuitton but I guess it's nice to try things once in a while all right, let's go ahead and open up box number two. And this actually is an accessory that belongs with the bigger box, but let's go ahead and open this up. And it is a drawer box. And let's see if you have any guesses. Here is my receipt. And you can probably tell what this is. It is a strap. And this is what it looks like. It is a thick black leather strap with gold accessories. There it is. It is black on both sides. And this one is, says Louis Vuitton Paris. And so this actually comes with what is in the bigger bag. Any guesses? All right, let's get right into it. Here is uh, the beautiful box, and she went ahead and, of course, put that very pretty ribbon with a card. Let's just move this out of the way. A very nice magnetic box, which opens up, and, oh, she put in this very, very beautiful card, and they had an artist go to their store some time ago and she had gone ahead and had them get uh, make me this hand painted card which she went ahead and wrote me a beautiful note and actually the assistant manager and she used to work at the store where I usually shop and then she got a promotion and moved over to the sacks so anyhow thank you so much Iachi that is so beautiful all right let's just dive right into this beauty and do you have any guesses? Yes, it is an absolutely stunning Capucines Mini. And she is all in black leather with the Python accents right on the top handle and also the flap also has some of the python right here and here she is is this not adorable four feet and just the regular capucines now before i kind of give you a little tour let me show you what else came with 
this bag. So it has an envelope and inside has a couple of things. It has the regular care booklet and it also has this right here and it says item number, export license number and country of origin and it's actually handwritten all the information on the other side and then also this one which says outside and inside calf leather python trim and also a note with another document attached and this says thank you for your purchase of an exceptional piece from the Louis Vuitton collection. Enclosed, please find a copy of the city's a document uh, which details the origin of the exotic skins that make up your exceptional piece. And it just talks about should you leave the country or travel, you need to check the different regulations because you may need to take this documentation with you. So. All of this paperwork also came with the bag because of the python. So here she is. This is the Capucines Mini. And I have to be honest, I have, I've never really thought of getting this size. I've always thought it's pretty small. I love the Capucines that I have in the BB size. I feel it is just a great size. However, this one, when I saw this one, I was just won over by it and I thought, well, the smaller size, I could truly use it for evening or for a little bit more dressier occasions. That being said, let me give you a close up. Here she is, all the beautiful black leather, the gold detail right here. You have the Python handle. and the back of the top flap. And inside it is the same as a regular Capucines. That's what it looks like. It has a very small slip pocket back here. And then it's got two compartments. They're just open compartments right there. And this one is made in France. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but there it is, it's made in France. And it's got the little accessories right here. So you can go ahead and clip right here. So you can go ahead and clip the strap. I have to be honest, I don't necessarily love this strap for the bag. However, it's always convenient to have a strap and I can always use this with other bags that I have. So I'm happy to have it. I do think I will probably be using this as a top handle more for evening or dressier occasions. And that is it. This is the gorgeous piece that I picked up. I am just thrilled with it, although I have to say it was totally unplanned. And what do you think? Should I keep it? Oh, let me give you a very quick comparison to the BB size. And here they are side by side. As you can see, the mini is considerably smaller than the BB, both in height and in width. And if you're interested, let me know and I will be happy to do a full-on comparison, but wanted to give you an idea of the size. So that is it. Thank you for stopping by and seeing me. This is the newest addition to my collection. I am very excited to have her. She is a beauty. I am a little bit shell-shocked that I so impulsively purchased her 
and I would love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think, comments or questions, and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.